violence in Belfast escalated during a second night of unrest by hardline Protestants. In this street in North Belfast, youth set up burning barricades and threw missiles at police. Women and children were caught in the crossfire, and only pleas for a brief halt in the confrontation allowed them to return to their homes. It was only after a lengthy standoff that police eventually broke down the barricades. Elsewhere in Belfast, police encountered more violence. Policemen were attacked with petrol bombs. One officer was in flames before quick thinking colleagues put them out. Meanwhile, in Portadown, several hundred Protestants confronted rows of riot police blocking the way towards the Catholic area in Garbati Road. Police retaliated with water cannon, the first time in over 30 years they've been used in the troubled province. One doused the lead ranks of rioters with the intention of forcing them back up the hill towards the church. Following the violence, the British Army moved into Drum Cree on Wednesday and erected a huge steel barrier to protect police. The fence was inspected by the chief of the British Army, General Sir Mike Jackson. I'm just here to have a look at the arrangements. Uh, a lot of soldiers from my command have come out here to reinforce and um, I'm just having a look around and seeing the soldiers. Despite pleas from political leaders to end the violence, the Orangemen are calling on their supporters to continue the protests.